Good afternoon everyone, in today's video we're looking at multiple severe weather outbreaks possible throughout late this week and next week. Here we are looking at the Storm Prediction Center outlook for day one, which is going to be today. Most of these storms have actually already happened today, but we do have still a slight risk in effect for severe weather, which is a level 2 out of 5 on the severe weather risk scale. We, for that tornado risk, we only have a five, we only have a two percent risk for tornadoes, so really not that big chance for a tornadic activity throughout the rest of today. Wind risk is a very low chance as well, only a five percent chance for sixty mile per hour winds. But the main threats that were for today was significant hail in in east central florida with over two inch plus size hail possible let's look at tomorrow's outlook and we do have also another slight risk, slight risk for severe weather across portions of louisiana mississippi or uh, ten, texas and oklahoma you have quite the tornado chance there in louisiana and mississippi but not super widespread as you can see it is uh, in the very southern portion of this area which is quite uncommon uh, that you see this tornado risk actually not make up most of the slight risk so a five percent chance for tornadoes mainly in the new orleans area and uh, again southeastern louisiana is going to see a big tornado chance for thursday it's going to be winds, as you can see, have a 15% chance in two areas for 60 mile per hour winds. We also have a 15% chance for uh, one inch size tail and higher in that yellow region. For day three, we also have another slight risk for severe weather in a small area in the southeast and a very widespread marginal risk, <laughs> marginal risk for severe weather in the dark green areas. For day four, we have another 15% risk for severe storms in that kind of yellow shaded area. And let's look at day six, yet another 15% chance for severe weather across portions of Texas. Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, Oklahoma, uh, those areas will have that risk for severe weather on Monday of next week. Day 7, which is Tuesday, another 15% chance for severe weather here in Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Arkansas. We'll see another 15% chance for severe weather day eight which is going to be wednesday still not a chance for severe weather but i do think there's there's definitely still going to be storms here across the east coast just probably not quite severe let's look at monday severe threat uh as this will probably be the most significant severe threat out of as out of all of them out of all of the days here let's look at the cape values which is convective available potential energy this is pretty much the thunderstorm juice that makes thunderstorms pop up especially severe thunderstorms down here in the south let's look at the cape values we're seeing 2,000 joules per kilogram which is which is definitely a lot of juice for thunderstorms here in march we only only typically see upwards of 1500 drills per kilogram down here in the south for those storms to really fire but definitely 2000 is still kind of in the average region but that's really pushing it for march so let's move, go ahead and move forward that's the, overall these storms are going to have a lot of energy to really kick off of and as we move forward here into the more the 9 p.m time frame likely these storms are already fired so they're pretty much taking up all that juice they're pretty much getting as strong as they can possibly producing tornadoes hail winds flooding as well is going to be possible here on, in texas on monday throughout the overnight hours and even to, even into tuesday we'll see those severe storms now supercell composite which is the risk for supercells on monday is going to be considerably high with a red area with red orange and yellow is going to be for uh, these areas which is meaning there's going to be high chance for supercells and supercells are the type of thunderstorms that do produce tornadoes now don't get me wrong all, all supercells do not produce tornadoes only some but definitely supercells um definitely a higher supercell composite uh, means a higher chance for tornadoes. Here's a supercell composite for Tuesday. Uh, again, when these storms are firing here around 3 p.m. on Tuesday, we have another red and orange areas, which is meaning you're getting up to oh, up to 10 on the supercell composite, which means you're going to have a decent chance for those supercells developing, especially in central Mississippi. That's where you're going to see the most supercells on Tuesday. As you can see, that lasts for a little bit, even into the evening hours. And that supercell 
Cell's chance may diminish once you head into the overnight hours. Let's look at Friday's chance for Super Cells. As you can see, there's orange and there's some reds there uh, just peeking out of that orange. As you can see, there's a, we're talking four to seven. So definitely a decent chance for Super Cells on Friday. And as you can see, that's why they have that 5% chance for tornadoes down there in southeastern Louisiana. Because we're seeing a decent pocket of oranges and reds. We're also seeing some sh high shear levels in this area. So that's where we're going to have uh, those most tornadoes in the overnight hours of southeastern Louisiana. So make sure you have warning. Make sure you do get those warnings. If you do live in southeastern Louisiana, you're going to have that chance for tornadoes overnight. And I mean, just look at the significant tornado parameters for Texas for the overnight hours on Friday. As you can see, we're seeing upwards of five to sixes, even a little bit of pink I can see in there. And this is pretty much all the tornado models put together into one single model. So we can look at this model, but it is not super accurate. Just something uh, informative to look at with that chance of to see those chances of tornadoes pretty much. Let's look at lightning density. We don't typically look at this on the channel uh, much, but we can see with the lightning dis density model with it, where the most storms are going to be. So as you can see, this is going to be 9 p.m. of Friday. And as you can see, this is going to be 9 p.m. of Thursday. And as you can see, we're seeing uh, some storms popping up here. Not all, not super strong overall in eastern Texas, but definitely some storms there, as you can see, especially in uh, northern Louisiana. Central Louisiana is going to see some storms as well. But in the early morning hours of Friday, that's where that big uh, tornado threat is going to come into play in southeastern Louisiana. You're seeing a lot of lightning density, likely seven flashes, seven lightning flashes per five minutes in that one storm. <laughs> and I'll be hitting a New Orleans area as well. So you're going to see strong storms. For the Friday morning to start off your morning, you know, 4 a.m. So extremely early morning hours for people in New Orleans. You're going to be waking, woken up by some serious lightning shows. We can't look at the future radar just yet for uh, the upcoming next week severe threats. So stay tuned to the channel and subscribe so you won't miss a single video or update on this upcoming major severe threat in upcoming pattern that will be super active in the south severe weather wise. But as always, Stay safe.